Raziel is finding his way into the basement of the Vampire Citadel. Supposedly, he will find the answers he seeks there, according to Janos, anyway. Although, Raziel is beyond the point where he's willing to simply trust anybody on their word. Regardless of who they are, he's become much more cynical, and I am freaking lost. <laughs> How do I get out of here? There we go. Move faster above water. Hmm. Nothing here. Been hounded by enemies for quite a while, but there's nothing here. Vampires committed suicide only to escape your voice. Do not forego my favor with your impertinence, Raziel. You have finally fulfilled your purpose. I am pleased. What are you trying to obliterate here, then? What is it about me that has you so afraid? <laughs> your fate is trivial, Raziel. It was Cain's destiny that mattered all along. Okay, can't hit them. It was Kane's destiny that mattered, not Raziel's. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be enjoying that. Try that again. Get back up there. Jeez, we're getting deep into the world of the Elder God here. <laughs> of course, not even the the Elder God seems to have the ability to live sort of without time. Whether you're in the past or the future, it doesn't really matter when speaking to the Elder God. You can be in the past, or you can be in the future, then travel into the past and continue a conversation with him. It's weird. It doesn't really make any sense. And uh, that's weird. But, you know, video games. Shit. <laughs> Too slow. All right, let's try that again. Okay, I have a time limit here. But even the Elder God, living outside of time in a certain manner of speaking, is unable to do anything to change fate, at least not by himself needed some sort of a catalyst, or not a catalyst, but uh, some sort of agent in which to change history, change fate, 
which for him, I guess, fate and history are the same thing. And that was Raziel, but Raziel wasn't, didn't actually have the fate that he needed to change. Whatever Cain's fate he needed to change, he had to do it through Raziel. Okay, uh... Gonna have to do this again. I need to find my way up somehow. Probably in a pretty strict time limit, so I don't want to stir around too much. Didn't do it. Keep going. Haha. Ah. <laughs> what? Did it work or not? Damn it. <laughs> and that's some shit. I think I got it, I just wasn't fast enough. Oh no, I did get it. It is accomplished. The forge summons the spirit of every balanced guardian to itself for this final purpose. Ariel, you. Yes, Raziel. Yet I am much more than I was. The veil my spirit, united with the souls of my predecessors, is drawn here now for the final baptism of the blade. To restore balance, the sword must be rendered pure by spirit. Release me, Razia. The soul reaver has the power. Release us all. For this we will call. That was a vision that we had seen back in the game Soul Reaver. Raziel saw some visions of the future, but he didn't understand them. One of them was himself absorbing Ariel into the Reaver Blade. Now, that didn't happen in Soul Reaver. It didn't happen in Soul Reaver 2 or Blood Omen 2. It was something that was held off until now. Apparently, it was to purify the Reaver. Something that needed to happen for whatever purpose. <laughs> Of course, by purifying the Reaver, you purified 
Raziel's soul, which is trapped inside of it. Of course, that's a Raziel of the future, not a Raziel of the now. So, you know, confusion. We got what we wanted, though, regardless of what the Elder God wanted us to do. And it seems as though we have finally lived beyond our usefulness for the Elder God. And it legitimately wants us dead.